The red button takes data from numerous BBC systems uh, to provide journalistic and editorial content uh, to the audience. It's really a way of getting uh, to news and sport content, be able to find content that is individual to you, or be able to go back and look at live content that is on currently and rewind it to start it from the start. Previously to moving to the cloud, uh, the interactive data system uh, was housed and run by a third party and we had a, a very heterogeneous environment with many different programming languages and many different types of system and that made for some problems in deploying the application out. One of our software components that we have uh, is a legacy component that required us to deal with a POSIX file system and presenting files through to that software component. Being able to work with AWS allowed us to uh, address these concerns. Within our workflow, we use a number of AWS services to provide the aggregation, the transformation, and the transmission of the data out to our broadcast systems. We typically use EC2 to do our aggregation and transformation. The output of the transformation is stored on an EFS file system. The strict dependency on a POSIX compliance file system was one of the reasons why we used EFS as a solution. We looked at building our own NFS server to provide the POSIX compliant file system that we required. However, we found that the added maintenance burden of supporting a custom NFS server 24-7 was prohibitive. Setting up the EFS file system was very simple and we were able to set it up in a matter of minutes and mount that to our EC2 instances. Once the, the file system was there, we were able to write files immediately and read them back from a number of different EC2 instances. The Amazon Elastic file system allowed us to not have to rewrite a core component and meant that the timelines that we were looking to deal with were able to be addressed. We had a two year deadline to deliver the migration from the on-premise estate to the cloud. Uh, during this time, we had to rewrite a number of components and uplift components that we could not uh, rewrite in that time. The migration ultimately proved to be transparent, with the audience being unaware that we were moving these critical parts of our infrastructure, and there was no outage or any kind of indication that anything was going on. One of the key benefits we found is the ability to define infrastructure as code. It enables our engineers to duplicate production environments in minutes and at a low cost. Over the last three years, while working with AWS, we've seen a number of improvements that have allowed us to go back to our software components. And whilst our initial design is working, we can enhance that design with new features that have been released. So being able to iteratively improve our software components, both from speed of execution and cost, has been very beneficial to us.